Good morning, fourth grade. This is lesson 31 for math. Today's objective for lesson 31 is you will be able to write and solve an equation for comparison word problems. So the first example we're going to look at today, dealing with comparison word problems, finding the difference, is example one. It says, Andrea picked 42 apples at the apple orchard. Her younger brother picked 13 apples. How many more apples did Andrea pick than her brother? Now the important thing is fourth grade, when we're looking at these word problems, when trying to find the difference, we want to make sure we're following a system here that helps us, uh, that helps us be successful when solving these problems. So today I what I want you to remember is when we're doing these word problems to find the differences, we always want to find the larger amount first, the larger amount, and then we want to subtract from that the smaller amount. And when we do that, we turn to learn this in the last lesson as we find the difference. Now remember, difference is when we hear that word, we automatically think difference is the answer in a subtraction problem whether that's a word problem or a number sentence, but difference is always I'm subtracting something from something to get the difference of it. So when we're looking at these word problems, this is what we want to be looking for is we find our larger amount first in our word problems. So here we have 42 apples. Then we want to find our smaller amount, which is 13 apples. So now to find the difference, because it asks us, Andrea picked 42 apples at the apple orchard. Her younger brother picked 13 apples. How many more apples did Andrea pick than her brother? Well, to find that, again, we're going to subtract our, our smaller amount from our larger amount. So we're going to take 42 apples. And we're going to subtract 13 apples. And when we subtract that, then we're going to borrow from our tens here. So then we have 12. So we take 3 from 12, we get 9. This is a 3. So then take 1 from 3, you get 29 apples. So this is fourth grade, what they're asking us to do when they f to find a comparison. We know that Andrea picked 42 apples and her brother picked 13. Then we're going to find the difference of those two numbers. So we get uh, 29 more apples. Because it asks us how many more apples did Andrea pick than her brother? She picked 29 apples more. Okay, let's look in the next example. Example 2. It says there are worth 17 apples in a basket and 63 apples in a barrel. How many fewer apples were in the basket Basket than were in the barrel? Again, we're going to find, following the same formula, fourth grade, we're going to find our larger amount first, and then we're going to find our smaller amount, and we are going to, again, subtract. find the difference. This will find us our difference. So first thing is I'm finding my numbers that I'm comparing. So I have 63 apples. So I'm, I'm setting up my equation as 63 apples. Then I'm subtracting from it 17 apples. Again, I'm going to go ahead and borrow. This becomes a 5. Borrow from the 10s. Get 13. So take 7 from 13. I get 6. Take 1 from 5. I get 46. So, oh, I forgot my label. Apples. So it asks us, how many fewer apples were in the basket than were in the barrel? Well, there were 40 six fewer apples 
40, excuse me, there was 46 fewer apples in the basket than were in the barrel. So, uh, again, this is how we first found fourth grade, our larger amount in our word problem, and then found our smaller amount, and then to find the difference, we subtracted them. Again, these are, we're comparing apples to apples here. Okay, let's look at our example three. Example three says, the number represented by point B is how much greater than the number represented by point A? Well, we've been doing number lines fourth grade, and it's important before we even try figuring out what it is, we want to see what we're dealing with when we look at our tick marks between our numbers. Well, I noticed, I, first of all, I'm going to start with 20 here. And I know I know point, there's point A's labeled here, but I'm not going to worry about that. I first want to figure out what they're counting by. That's the first thing. So I see 1, 2, 3, 4. Then there's kind of a little bit of a bigger tick mark than 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, it looks like they're counting from 5s to this one. So let's see. So, so 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. This must be 25. Let's double check, though, and then 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Yep. So if that's the case, then if we're counting by, so if these little smaller, bigger tick marks are by fives, and so, so looking at 30, so 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Okay, so it looks like this is how the, they're counting here in our number line. So let's go ahead now and find out uh, what point A represents. So... Point A, it looks like this is 21. And then we're going to go ahead and look at our point B, which it looks like point B is, well, 36, 37, 38. Okay. Now, again, we've been talking about this. When we want to find which is greater, so it tells us here, it says the number represented by point B is how much greater than the number represented by point A. A. Well, point B we're gonna, is 38, uh, so we're going to subtract our larger amount, which is 38. And then we're going to subtract from it 21, because again, we want to find out how much greater, or point B is how much greater than the number represented by point A. So this is how we're going to find our difference. So we subtract, so take 1 from 8, we get 7. Take 2 from 3, we get 1. So we get 17 is, so, what, so let's go back to our problem. So it says the number represented by point B is how much greater than uh, the number represented by point B. Well, it's 17 is greater than... greater than 21 because here's how we can check if we can do 21 plus 17 which does in fact give us 38 so 17 greater is greater than 21 okay let's look at some other problems in our home homework okay because this is our was our objective for today fourth grade is you will be able to write and solve an equation for comparison word problems. So let's look at, to close our lesson ready, let's look at some homework problems to help reinforce our objective today. So it says 100, so this is problem number two in our homework. It says 150 is how much more greater than one, or excuse me, than 23. Well, again, we're going to, we're doing a comparison here. So we want to figure out, we're subtracting 20, three from 150. So I'm going to write 150 and then I'm subtract 23. Okay. Again, I'm going to go ahead and my ones place value and I see there's a th zero and a three. Well, I can't take three from zero, so I have to borrow from my tens. This becomes a four. This becomes a 10. I take three from 10, I get seven. In my tens place, I take two from four and I get two. And then I have nothing left in my 100, so I just bring down my 1. So it asks us how 150 is how much greater than 23? It's 127 uh, greater than 
23 because we know that again 127 plus 23 does in fact give us 150. Let's look at one more. 23 apples is how many fewer than 75 apples. So we're looking at fewer, but we're still doing a comparison here because we're doing comparing apples. And again, we're going to pick to find the difference between we're going to take our larger number, which is 75, and we're going to subtract from that 23 apples. So when we subtract 3 from 5, we get 2. When we subtract 2 from 7, we get 5. So 23 apples is how many fewer than seven or 75 apples? It would be about 52 apples. So again, today we looked at fourth grade. For our objective was you will be able to write and solve an equation for comparison word problems. And we looked at, looked at that today by finding our larger amount and subtracting from our larger amount or smaller amount to find our difference. Remember, again, when we hear the word difference, we want to remember that that's the answer to our subtraction problems. When we find the difference, we're told to subtract to get our answer.